Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your end of the week analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading week ending Friday 12th of October. Price moved lower as we expected for Friday session. It's a little bit below our short term target, but the structure here is still incomplete. So I'm still expecting at least a little bit more downwards movement. That may end during Monday session or it could be a bit more time consuming, possibly taking another couple of sessions. Full blue can't move into one blue price territory. Movement below 1380.39 would invalidate this wave count. An invalidation at this stage of this price point would be hugely significant. I wouldn't want to see the high of one blue any lower. I wouldn't want to put it here because it can't subdivide to a 3 and we can't see this as any other structure. So this is as low as I would want to put wave 1 blue. Invalidation of this wave count would indicate that we have a high in place and a huge trend change. It would be very significant. This fourth wave at blue degree looks like it's exhibiting nice alternation with its counterpart second wave. We've got a 3 down for A, a 3 up for B which is over 90% the length of A. This looks like a regular flat unfolding. We need a 5 down for C to be complete. Let's have a look at what happened in Friday's session on the hourly chart. Here's the end of A, B and here's C downwards to complete for wave 4 blue. So far we have a short first and second wave, an extended third wave complete, a fourth wave complete and we need the final fifth wave down to unfold. So far we have 5, 3, 5 and this in the 5 minute chart looks like a completed 3 wave structure and it's remained below the end of price territory of the first 5 down. So I think wave 5 green is extending a little. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 and we need a final fifth wave down which could end during or early Monday session or it could possibly take a bit longer. At 1421 wave 5 green in its entirety will be 0.618 the length of 3 green just 2 points below that. At 1419 wave 5 orange within 5 green will reach equality in length with wave 1 orange. 1 and 3 are reasonably close to equality and 3 is a bit longer than 1, so 5 is not limited to how low it can go. The only limit is 1380.39, 4 blue can't move into 1 blue price territory. In the very short term when markets open on Monday, any further upwards movement for 4 orange can't move into wave 1 orange price territory, Movement above 1431.89 before the last fifth wave is done would invalidate my labelling of this piece of movement. This is still our second daily wave count which at cycle and primary degree still has about an even probability with the first but it's looking at the possibility that we've had a really big trend change. While price remains above 1380.39, I want to consider this possibility, but I don't want to take it too seriously. We have absolutely no confirmation of a trend change. We should always assume that the trend remains the same until proven otherwise. I'm expecting still a bit more downwards movement for that fourth wave correction. I don't think that C wave is complete yet. It may end during Monday session or it could take perhaps even one or two sessions depending on how low that fifth wave goes. When it's done, redraw the channel on the daily chart from 2 to 4, place a copy on the high of 3, expect upwards movement in the fifth wave to end midway in the channel or at the upper end. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis and I hope that members are all having a really great weekend.